Hello darlings and welcome back to my channel. I just recently showed my luxury perfume haul where I showcased fragrance from the House of Perfumes to Marley and I referenced this Meliora. Now my initial impression of Meliora when I tried the sample was that I absolutely loved the sample. So it was like a no-brainer for me to go ahead and indulge in the full-size bottle. But once I received the full-size bottle and I wore it, I was disappointed. For one, I was disappointed because the sample was nothing like the actual bottle. Now this bottle is very expensive. If I can remember, it's around like $300 a bottle. But honey, you know how we do with the discounts. We find bottles for a very, very good price, but it's really not like your ordinary everyday run-of-the-mill fruity perfume. Perfume. It's really crisp. It does have like a bittery raspberry tone to it. So I really do like that part of it. Once this dries on the skin, it almost has like a fruity powder. That's what I really, really love. And I know that's like the musky aspect of the perfume. Even though the fruits are really, really crisp, once I spray this on me and I got that fruity tone from it, I knew like it smelled like a crisp, fruity, freshly washed fruit berry a freshly washed berry and where that shampooy freshly washed aspect of the perfume is coming from is black currant now how i describe black currant whenever i see black currant it automatically puts me in the mind frame of it being like that crisp fruit or like a shampooy vibe and what i get from the black currant with this is that shampooy vibe so it's like a washed fruit that's what comes to mind with this perfume. Now, I love the dry down. I love the muskiness of this perfume. And I also really, really love that the fruitiness never really went away. It stayed throughout the wear. I love that part of it. So that's why I went ahead and I bought the bottle. I still got the musk, but it's almost like the fruit was too bitter and it was more watered down. That's what I got when I wore this and I was highly disappointed. As I said in the luxury perfume haul, if you have not checked out my luxury perfume haul i will leave a card right up here so you can check out my luxury perfume haul but i did reference this fragrance and i said that i was really not a fan of this perfume and i still stand by that and i also said that there was a perfume that i prefer over this one not a dupe but i prefer over this one that has that crispy fruit that is absolutely gorgeous. I love this one. It's a lot cheaper, but it is from the house of Burberry and this is Burberry Her. This is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I don't wanna take nothing away from Meliora, but I do actually prefer this Burberry Her over Meliora because you still get that really crisp fruit. You get that musky dry down, but this one lasts longer. It hits harder and it's definitely a huge difference in price. So not a dupe, but it has the same vibe. And I really, really love my Burberry Her. So my Meliora would definitely be on the declutter. So if you are interested in Meliora, make sure to follow me on Macari. I will leave a link in the description box below of where you can follow my store on Macari. So as soon as I have my declutter, honey, she would definitely be in there. And I am keeping note of all the perfumes that I'm talking about, about the declutter. So definitely stay tuned. I don't take nothing away from this because I know there's a lot of people that really enjoy Meliora. But me personally, I'm not a fan. I don't like the bitterness of how it turns bitter in the dry down with the musk and vanilla. I'm not a fan of that. I prefer Burberry Her. Again, not to take anything away from Meliora. Meliora is not a type of perfume that I'm gonna keep in my collection just because I have the collection, because I know I'm not gonna wear this, okay? So that is my thoughts on Meliora as far as the scent. Now the lasting power, it did last me my work shift. I was able to smell it, but it stayed in that bittery fruit, that sharp bitter fruit stage. It stayed in that stage too long for me, but it did last on my skin. I, I got six to eight hours out of it, but I did kind of spray a little heavy. I sprayed six sprays of this and it did last me my work shift. So I was still able to smell it, but I'm just not a fan of it. It's still a really, really nice fragrance and offering from the House of Parfums de Marley, but for me and my taste and the price, no ma'am. She's definitely going to be in my declutter. So this is my comparable to the Meliora, same vibe is my Burberry Her. I will take Burberry Her over Meliora. That's my thoughts and that is that. 
Okay, you guys, so this does sum up my comparison of Meliora as well as Burberry Her. If you guys have any of these fragrances, comment down below and let me know your thoughts, how you feel about Burberry Her, and also how you feel about Meliora. Now, if you are interested in Meliora, I would definitely be including Meliora by Parfum de Marly in my declutter sale. So definitely stay tuned and follow my store. I will leave the link down in the description box. And if you really enjoyed this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, share if you care, and definitely subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in my next video.